Hey guys, it's Jenna, and today I have a summer haul for you guys. Um, just as a disclaimer, um, I did not get all this stuff all at once because that would be insane. This, all of this was built up since like the end, the middle to end of May. So I did not get all this at the same time. Okay, let's get started. So first I'm going to show you guys hair, makeup, face body products. First, I guess I'll start with this for hair. I got the Mane and Tail shampoo because I heard that it's really good for making your hair shiny, which is what I want right now because my hair is a little bit damaged still, so I want to make it shiny. I didn't get the conditioner just because I'm not out of my Aussie conditioner yet, but once I'm out of my Aussie conditioner, I'll probably get the Mane and Tail conditioner too. Just so I have the same products and they probably work well together. So the second thing I got is I used to use the fit me foundation the liquid foundation and over time i just realized that it made my skin look really dry and flaky when it was on when i would set it with powder and obviously i don't want my skin to look dry and flaky so i did some research and asked around and so i got the revlon color stay 24 hour foundation and so far i really like it i've also changed the way that i put my foundation on normally i would just use a face sponge normally i would just use like one of these face sponges but what i've been doing is i want my foundation to look more even and more of like a flawless finish you know because that's obviously what every girl wants in their makeup so what i do is i pour a little bit onto this and i dab it all over my face and then after i dab it all over my face i take this kabuki brush and i just blend it all in and I think that my powder is a little too heavy for how I want my face to look right now, so I alternate between powders. Make my powders. Did I just move you? Okay. I alternate in between the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and the Fit Me Powder. I like this powder because it is a very full coverage, but it makes your skin look really dry. So I put it on with this Kabuki brush very lightly just to set my makeup but still have sort of a dewy finish. The second thing that I got is I've been looking for under eye concealer for a while now and I've always had one that was too dark and didn't work and my under eyes get very dry so anything that I put on them makes them like flaky and look gross. But I found that the Garnier Skin Renew, Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller works really well because it also has um, like things in them to prevent the dark circles too. And it's like a rolly ball, but when you when you roll it, um, not conditioner, what the heck, foundation color comes off, and it blends really nicely with your skin, and I really like it, and I moisturize under my eyes a lot more now. Next thing that I got, I still haven't fully mastered, and I still and I don't use it every day because some days I just don't want to. But I got the Revlon Brow Fantasy in dark blonde. Because my eye my eyebrows aren't as dark as my hair, obviously, because this isn't my natural hair color. I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> because this isn't my natural hair color, um, I might have to go a little bit darker. I don't know, I just look, I feel like I look kind of weird with my eyebrows filled in just because I'm not fully used to it yet because I've never had my eyebrows filled in very well. But it has a pencil. And then what I like about it is it has a gel on the back. And the gel has like a, a like darker color to the gel. It's not a clear gel, and I think that helps it blend a little bit better. And it doesn't have a whole lot of gel on it, so you still get to use like the spoily, whatever kind of brush it's called, to help blend everything. The next product I was super excited to get, and I'm probably the last person that does makeup and stuff on YouTube to ever get it, but I got the Naked Palette. I love it. I use it like, I use it every day, honestly. And then it came with another little primer potion, which is cool because it's not that I'm almost out of mine, but it's nice to have a backup and a little like travel size. Okay. Okay, the next body product comes from a wonderful place called Lush. I went to Lush. This is my second time going to Lush but I didn't really have one at a mall near me and I found, I found it and it's so cool. I love it. I've never bought anything from Lush before, so I was super excited. 
So the first thing I got is I got a bath bomb. I don't know what flavor it is because I can't remember, but it looks like this. It smells so good. I'm probably gonna break it in half just to make it last a little bit longer when I use it because this is really big. Like, it's like a baseball. So that was the first one. And then I got another one. It's a little bit smaller. Also, don't remember the name of it, but it said it relaxes sore muscles and um, eases your worries. So I was like, okay. And it looks like this. It's a little bit smaller. I think it smells good. My family doesn't think it smells good, but I like it. It has, it's not a sweet scent. It's more of a musky scent, but I like musky scents. So yeah. And then the last thing I got from Lush is probably my favorite one. And lately I've been really into exfoliating my face just so like my pores are clean. And cause I have a problem with blackheads and I want to keep my blackheads under control and everything. So I got the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. I had used this once before, the first time that I ever went to Lush, but I didn't buy it because I didn't have any money then, but they used it like on my hands to show me what it was like, and it was like the most amazing feeling ever. So I got it, and I'm gonna use it on my face. And she said to use it about like, maybe two, three times a week, but do it twice a day. And it has a vodka infused cocktail, and she said that the components in vodka um help make your skin tone like the same so like if you have like red spots and stuff it'll help it like go all your skin tone which i was like okay i guess next i will do hair things and a couple hair things that i've gotten recently are all from my friend's etsy her etsy name is bows for brie or bows from brie i'll put it right here the name of it but I got two bows and one headband. The headband was $10, the bows were five, but she had a lot of extra bows. I only bought one bow, one bow, and she gave me another for free. So the first one that I got is this American flag bow. I think it's super cute. They're actually really big and they're like plushy. They're not just like little things of fabric, like they're thick. They have like stuffing or something in them. And at first I was like, oh, it's kind of really big, but I actually like it in my hair because I have a lot of hair, so it looks good. And it has one of these like barrette clips in the back, which I really like because it holds your hair better than just a little like snap, not snap, like, like alligator mouth. Yeah. And then the one that she sent me has these daisies on it. And I think it's really cute. I haven't worn it with anything yet, but I'm gonna wear it with an outfit soon because I think it's super cute. And then the headband. Let me tell you about the headband. I freaking love the headband. As most of you know, I'm obsessed with Lana Del Rey. And I freaking got this headband. What? It's so cute. I had a flower headband that went like across like this. I have it on my lamp as like a decoration for my lamp. Um, but the thing I don't like about it is it's all the way around like a halo type thing. So it kind of fits your head really weird and kind of hurts. And this one is like an actual headband and it's not super long. So it doesn't go all the way behind my ears, which I like because normally when headbands go behind my ears, they start to irritate me after a while. But this one stops like right here. And I think it's so cute. I love it so much. I'm like looking at this picture of Lana Del Rey that I have on my wall. And she's wearing a similar one. But yeah, I love these types of headbands, so I was like, okay. That is hair things. All right, so next I got a bathing suit from Etsy. I don't remember the name of them, but you can just search the name of the bathing suit, I guess. And it is an American flag bathing suit because I really like American flag stuff. So these are the bottoms. They have the stars and the sides have the stripes, just like that. And then the top is a bandeau type style. It's strapless and it's like this and i think it's really cute and what i didn't realize in the picture online is i thought it just came like this you know but it actually like flips you know so you twist it and then you can decide which like you want it you know flag the stripes on one boob and the stars on the other so that type of thing it's really cute i actually went swimming in it yesterday and it, I've never had a strapless top before, so I had to kind of figure out 
how to swim with it without it coming off but if you tie it tight enough you you're you'll be good it'll be all good but yeah i think it's really cute and i'm really happy that i got it because i haven't had a new bathing suit in like years and i was like sweet all right so then i'm moving on to clothes now uh, i went to pack sun and i only got one thing from there but I love it. I tried it on and I thought it was like the cutest thing. And I love shirts like this. So let me fix it because my sister was playing with it later, earlier. It's one of these. And I think it looks really cute on. With the jeans that I'm wearing right now, it actually looks really good with just this and the jeans. But I'm going to a concert next Monday on the 17th. Um, a week from today, but I don't know when I'll put this up. And I'm going to a heart concert and I'm probably going to wear this with some shorts and the shoes that I'm wearing right now, but I'm making a separate video on these shoes because they are insane. Yeah. Yeah, I got this shirt from Paxa. It was $24.50 because their stuff is expensive, but super cute. Um, I don't know how much the mane and tail shampoo was. I think my mom said it was like $8, just so I can give you guys prices. Um, the foundation was 13 I believe I don't remember what the eyebrow pencil was the under eye concealer was like 14 it was ridiculous and everyone knows the naked palette is 50 which is insane but I was like graduation present I've always wanted it so okay. the place I went is H&M and from H&M I got some really cute stuff first I'll show you the jewelry that I got so first off I got this ring it has like a cross like turquoise detailing on it and I think it fits really nice. I really like how it looks on. So I got that. And then the second thing that I got are these necklaces. They are a little crazy right now. Oh my god. Oh, the ring was $5.95. Um, let me try to show you this. But these are the main ones that I like. The two like triangle necklaces. Okay, I only have two minutes of memory left on my card. I'll post pictures because this is difficult. The other thing that I got is this dress, and I will explain to you guys later why I got the dress, but let me back up. It's this white dress, it has some lace detailing. It has a zipper in the front, in the front. But I might wear it. I might cut off the tags and wear it in the back because it's kind of weird. But yeah, I think it's super cute. And it's the first white lacy dress that actually fits me good, which is like amazing for me because they're always too baggy on me. But yeah, so I really like the dress and I hope you guys like this summer haul. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to getting this summer. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later and bye.